If you saw the headline come across your timeline this morning that read candidate for governor endorsed by right wing militia leader might catch your eye, right? Just so happens that candidate is Idaho Lieutenant Governor Janice McGeehan, and it's a story in The Guardian based on a video posted by the president of the real three percenters of Idaho. So, of course, we wanted to see this video and we found it on Eric Parker's Telegram page. Parker is the president and founder of the self described nonprofit group. The Haley man also pleaded guilty to a federal obstruction charge for his role in the 2014 Bundy Ranch standoff in Bunkerville, Nevada. But his and the lieutenant governor's paths crossed again May 19th, the day she announced she was running for governor of Idaho. We need to do everything we can to get her where she can do the most good for us. It's selfish, guys. It's selfish. We got to get her in there for us. All right. This was Eric Parker introducing Lieutenant Governor Janice McGeehan on the day she announced her run for governor of Idaho. But in the roughly four minute video, Parker tells the story of how he first met McGeehan. And I was at um, a seminar being put on about globalization. He recalled how McGeehan was one of 53 current and former Idaho lawmakers, including then Congressman Raul Labrador, who sent a letter to then Attorney General Jeff Sessions in September of 2017 calling the treatment of Parker for his involvement in the Bunkerville standoff in Nevada a miscarriage of justice. McGeehan asked to meet him. So I walk up to Janice and I tell her thank you so much and, and I appreciate it and you know I'm kind of crying and give her a hug and she says if, if I get in you're gonna have a friend in the governor's office. Parker said McGeehan sounded good to me, so we <laughs> was also interested in learning more about his friend Todd Engel who was about to be on trial for his role in the same Bunkerville standoff. And so we approached her and told her this story and told her our feelings and, and showed her the evidence that was under protective order that we couldn't show anybody else. That was my first question for her. I said, I'm not sure if this is legal. <laughs> and she said, I want to see it. She wanted to see what they did. Engel was found guilty in 2017 and sentenced to 14 years in federal prison. Meanwhile, you may remember McGeehan, now Lieutenant Governor, showing her support of Engel in February of 2019 outside her office, posing with Engel supporters who were also members of the real three percenters of Idaho. Then Engel's conviction was vacated in 2020 by the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals. Parker says, because of help from politicians like McGeehan, which is why he said this last month. We need to do everything we can to get her where she can do the most good for us. I spoke with Parker today by phone to ask him about that video and what he said in it. Specifically, we wanted to know what he thought McGeehan meant by, quote, if I get in, you're going to have a friend in the governor's office, end quote. Parker said he believed it to mean, quote, a friend of due process. Proven, Parker says, by the outcome of the Todd Engel case. He said the evidence McGeehan wanted to see was what wasn't being allowed to be shown at Engel's trial, which is why, Parker says, he was convicted and then subsequently set free, which is also how the lieutenant governor explained it to us today, saying in an email, she has consistently defended the due process rights of Idahoans, including those wrongfully accused or convicted. She said it's an ongoing problem that she will work, continue to work, that is, toward resolving. As for the claim McGeehan is endorsed by a right wing mil militia leader, Parker denies that prescription or description, excuse me. He says the real three percenters of Idaho are simply an advocacy group, about 2,500 members strong, who advocate for constitutional rights and property rights, which Parker says explains his involvement with the Bundy incident in Nevada in 2014, but also why his group chose to not get involved with the Bundy takeover of the Malheur National Wildlife Refuge near Burns, Oregon in 2016. The former was the federal government coming in to take private property for failing to pay grazing fees, the latter, he says, was the Bundys taking the offensive aggressive side. Yes, three percenters groups can be painted with a broad brush, a militia movement, anti-government, according to the Anti-Defamation League. Groups who began in 2008, they take their name from the false belief only three percent of colonists fought against the British in the American Revolution. It was actually a much higher number. But there are many offshoots of the group and many out there who claim to be part of it may or may not be. But according to Parker, the Idaho group is, quote, not a militia and, quote, not anti-government, but merely they promote self-reliance, self-defense and self-sustainability. 
which again is why he, as president and founder of the Real 3%ers of Idaho, is promoting McGeehan for governor.